Hello, I'm Congressman Alan Lowenthal. This week, please join me and over 2 billion people across 192 countries in celebrating the 45th Earth Day. Since the first Earth Day in 1970, we have greatly improved our environment in the United States. In the early years after the first Earth Day, Congress passed landmark legislation that improved the health of our shared essential resources, the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the Earth we call home. However, as the ranking member of the House Natural Resources Subcommittee on Energy and Mineral Resources, and as the chair of the House Safe Climate Caucus, I feel that there is still much work to be done especially when it comes to the effects of energy development and greenhouse gas emissions. This year, the United States will be joining the international community in Paris to make pledges to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The protection of our future world is at stake. The environment, the jobs, and the health of our children and grandchildren. This week also marks the fifth year remembrance of the BP Deepwater Horizon oil disaster. In the past five years, we've made some improvements in the safety and environmental protections of fossil fuel extraction. But we can never make fossil fuel extraction impact-free. And we must consider their emissions in every decision we make. I am concerned that if oil development spreads into the Atlantic, and the Arctic Oceans, as the administration is proposing, we will be putting vast ocean and coastal resources at risk. Further, this proposed expansion fails to account for the greenhouse gas emissions from the oil and gas that would be extracted and ultimately burned. I fear that we will be working against the initial progress we've made in reducing our nation's greenhouse gas. Instead, on this 45th Earth Day, let's remember the legacy of the past Earth Days by fighting for a cleaner Earth. Let's encourage renewable energy development and increases in energy efficiency that help us reach our international greenhouse gas reduction goals and reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. Thank you and happy 45th Earth Day.